All right, in this video, I'm going to show you how to create a canvas using Python and CS1 graphics library. Now, creating your canvas is very important because once you create it, this is where everything will happen. So getting the dimensions, the color, the title right is crucial. Now, while you can go back and change it later, sometimes you'll see that it's actually easier to do right from the beginning. So we're going to work in the Python shell. That way we can actually get real time, a real time look at what we're doing. So first we're going to uh, import our CS1 graphics library. Okay, if I could spell. All right, now first thing we're going to do, we're going to do three different canvases. Well, first we're going to do the very basic, the simplest and fastest one. First, we're going to name. We'll give it a name. We'll give it Paper One. We're going to set that equal to Canvas. Now, make sure you capitalize the C, or it won't recognize it. All right. We're just going to do open and close parentheses. Now, when I pull this up, we'll see that it just creates a canvas that's blank, just the simple dimensions, and I'll show you how to get that in a little bit. Next, we're going to go ahead and do a, another one that is called paper 2. Now this is the next easiest way. Let's say you want a little bigger than 200 by 200 which is the default size. What you can do and see it'll tell you that right now the width will equal 200 and the height will equal 200. Well let's say we want the width and height to both be 400. So we go ahead and we set it to 400. We hit enter it creates another one and I will go ahead and pull that one up for you and as you can see that one is even bigger yet okay now if you want to get everything done in one swoop there's an even easier way to do it we'll name this one paper three we'll set our canvas and so you gotta watch that C okay let's say we want it 500 by 500 we want a background color so we will set that to red we'll put our comma and we also want to name this instead of it just saying graphics canvas like it usually does we are gonna set this to the name my canvas okay and now when we create it if you look it has our background color it has everything that we want and if you notice on this one it says graphics canvas but on this one it says my canvas so we've actually named it now let's say we create a canvas but we don't we're you know hundreds of lines into the program and we don't know how big it is anymore one way to find that out is the name of the canvas that we want to figure out dot get width and obviously that would be to find how wide it is now this will return 200 meaning that our smallest canvas that we created paper one right here is 200 wide 200 pixels wide and if we want to find out how high it is we tell it to get height now remember not to put height its height and we also get 200 that shows that the default size for any canvas without you know if it has empty parameters is going to be 200 by 200 well, let's say we want to set that to the same size. We, let's say we want to make paper one the exact same as paper three. Here's the other way to do it. We we type in paper one, and we let's say we want to set the width now to 500, and that way now it'll be as wide as our other canvas. But we also want to make it as long. So we do paper. We'll still do paper one dot set height, and we'll set that to 500 also. And now you can see that it's the exact same size as our paper three that we created. Now, what about changing the background color? Now we don't use the set fill color option on here. What we'll do is we'll do paper one, and then we want to do simple enough set background color. Now make sure that the set's not capitalized. But background, well, not the whole background, but background and color are both capitalized, if I would capitalize them. Okay, and we want to set this to red. And as you can see, it turns red. Okay, now let's say we want to change the title. 
Now the title's up here where my mouse is, where it says Graphics Canvas. Well, we want to change that to My Canvas. So we do paper one dot set title, and also again, the capitals matter. Now we'll put the title in quotes. We'll say My Canvas. Now if you notice, now it's changed. So these two are exactly like each other now. Now, one thing that you'll notice in the other ones is that on a normal graph, the x and y axis, as x goes from the left to the right, it gets greater. Well, in math, when y goes from bottom to top, it gets greater. Well, that's just the opposite in Python, well, in the CS1 graphics library. When going from left to right, it still the x still gets greater, but now as y gets greater going from top to bottom. And I'll go ahead and demonstrate that by drawing a circle. And by doing that, I'll set C, I'll name it C, and I want to make a circle with the radius of 60. Okay, and just so you guys can see a little better, I will set the fill color to black. Okay, and now we need to add it to paper 1. Okay. Now, I'm going to show you what I mean. When I, let's say I move this. Now, I'm going to move it 100, 0. And that means it should go over 100, so it should be over 100, and it should go down 0. And you'll see that. Okay, and now we will do 0, 100. Now, instead of, now it won't go left or right at all. But instead of going up by 100, since Python goes from top to bottom counting up, this will actually go down 100. So by doing this, you're able to actually go down. Now, you'll see this problem come up later, and it'll probably cause bugs for you. You have to remember that it goes from top to bottom. Other than that, that is the easiest way I've shown you now all kinds of different ways that you can create a canvas and how you can actually edit your canvas after you've actually created it.